Yo bros, this is we to play the Brenton Brushworks of YouTube and today for you friends and fans I am playing Monster Hunter Stories the Demo. Um let me just make my point clear. Kirby Star Allies is gonna be postponed for at least a day just because my computer is being a really, really big butt to me. So I decided since my computer doesn't wanna work how about I just play a demo and try it out? I promise this is the first time I've even played this demo. So, I don't know what to expect. This was a game I was thinking about buying. And hopefully the demo may tell me whether or not this is a good purchase or not. I'm not really into Monster Hunter. I played the demo for, like, one of the recent games. I'm not talking about super recent, like Monster Hunter World. I'm talking about something for the 3DS. But Monster Hunter Story seems like something that might be more up to my type of favorite gameplay. I don't know what they're saying. Alright, it's saving to the SD card, because I know you can't read that. I can't. Alright, here we go. Hey, partners! Be sure to take regular breaks from playing. Even the best riders need a break or something. I guess. Long ago, in ancient times. Should I even read that? Someone else is reading it for me. It's just not in English. Ooh. There were those who awakened a hidden power to open their hearts and befriend the monsters of this world. Yay! I like befriending things. Not so much finding them, just befriending them. They call them... Riders! Those who forge bonds with monsters. Here's a name. Protagonist? Yeah, I think it's protagonist. I think antagonist is bad guy, protagonist is good guy. You know, how exactly are you gonna make friends with monsters if you're stealing their eggs? I think you might have your priorities a little off. Seems look great though. Ooh, jeez, look at that mall. <laughs> there we go. Friendly monsters! Oh, look at that! He's not the only one! I want to be a monster hunter rider when I grow up. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Long cutscene, though. Monster Hunter Stories. 
Well, now that we got that outrageous long cutscene out of the way, for those that have never seen it in their entire life, let's get to the gameplay. New game. Oh no, another cutscene. To, to a world of dark blight. Unbidden. A savior descends. Hopefully you don't mind me saying the subtitles. Astride a white dragon, the heavens he rends. The blight he repels, and the light he restores. A true rider of monsters. He shall end all wars. Well, I'd like all wars to be ended. War sucks. Why do people do war anyways? War really sucks. Can I please play now? Lilla, you know we're not supposed to be here. I'm sure it was around here. I found a monster egg. You two do want to see a monster egg, right? I guess. Are oh, you a chicken, Cheval? Scared of the spooky monsters in the big bad forest? N no, I'm not afraid. I I'm going to be a rider next year. And riders aren't chickens, so no way I'd be afraid. You jumped higher than a cat, Kichawacha! Definitely still a scaredy gargoyle! Okay, you are gonna have to stop using those references, because I don't know any of them. Meanie, I, I just flinched. You're always teasing me. Huh? What's this? Nothing good. Do I press the button? Yeah, I press the button. Don't touch it! Come on, Slowpoke! Let's go find that egg! You're not afraid, right? Then prove it! Okay, okay, let's go! Yay! Let's split up and search for it! So here's the plan. If you manage to find the egg... Just whistle, okay? Then we'll all meet up! Wait. Is it... Is it possible? Yes! Finally! I can move! I can play! I know a game like Monster Hunter is probably gonna have some... Pretty big cutscenes in it, but that was starting to kind of get a little annoying. Alright, so I'm actually playing. Is this the egg? Nope, that's Andaman Seed. <laughs> I recognize that sound because I played a demo of the uh, Monster Hunter game. Didn't do nearly that good at it, but I played it. I just can't remember what it's called. Monster Hunter 4, maybe? Lily can be so mean. Lilla, sorry. Lilia. Huh? Eggs? There's no eggs here. Hmm. Is there really an egg around here? Well, we won't know till we look. Will we? I don't know where I'm going, by the way. There's a mushroom here. Blue mushroom. Didn't look very blue to me. But... Who am I to say? I'm not wearing glasses. Obtain honey. That whole thing? 
It's a good thing there weren't bees in that hive. Alright, well now that I'm done gathering extra stuff that I won't need, we'll probably be able to take to the main game. That whistle! It's Lilia's signal! Let's go! Was that me or was that the other guy? I think it's over here. I almost want to look over here though. You know, exploration reasons. I swear, if I can't... Ooh, unique mushroom. If I can't bring this stuff to the main game, I'm going to be kind of upset. I feel like this is one of those games where you can bring all the stuff you get through the demo to the main game. Alright, here comes the cutscene. Yes, those are eggs. And that's a nest. Ooh, look at that one, though. That one's neat. Oh, what a pretty egg! I wonder what will hatch from it. I think I've seen it in the Monsterpedia. Hmm, now what was it? Well, you know how we should find out? Hatch it! But we can't. Only a rider with a kinship stone can do that, right? Well then, we'll just need to become riders. B become riders? How are we supposed to do that? Uh, please don't beat the egg with stones. We'll do the right of kinship, of course. Right, first grab your kinship stone. How do you know that's a kinship stone? You just picked that up off the ground. Come on, use some common sense. Even if it's not part of earthly culture or something. These are just normal rocks. Thank you. At least someone's smart in this. Hey, pay attention. This is a sacred ritual. Be respectful. Okay, okay. Lex, we formally introduce ourselves. Well, come on, tell the egg your name. What's my name? What's my name? What's my name? It's your nurse. Probably said that wrong. Of course, this is where I really start to gain the customization. Ooh, I can change my pose? Or is that just showing the things that I can do? I'm not sure what I'm doing right now, but... Alright, stop, 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 stop. Alright, press next. So now I can change... Alright. I definitely feel it'll be more pointed. Skin tone. Ugh! Sorry about that, guys. Um, I think that's fine. Now, eyes. Okay, probably those. Ugh, not that, not that, not that. No, no, no. Was it this one? It wasn't that one. Now I don't know what I want. Huh. I'm between these two. Bright or sharp? I don't know. For some reason, I like sharp. I mean, does that make me look too... Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards sharp. Eye color. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, I like that green, though. Let's see. The blue's too dark. Was that blue too dark? Actually, no, 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 no. I like that one. That one looks good. Okay, the mouth? <laughs> I can have a Pikachu-like mouth. Um, Playful, big, small. It's hard to tell from here.
Ah, we'll just go big. Next. Now I can change my hair. I'm never going to get out of this customization, you guys. Ah, uh, that kind of looks okay. No, no. Some of these are too much. Oh, gosh. Huh. I mean, aside from the spike area there. I don't know. I like this one. So now I can change the color of my hair. I kind of like that, although that might be too dark. Um. Okay, yeah. That kind of brown. And I guess I press next again. Sorry this is taking so long. Oh, now I get, I get the voice. Let's see. That sounds like Link. <laughs> it sounds like Link. It sounds like young Link from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Don't tell me that does not sound like young Link. That's funny. Nope. Okay, I'll do voice type 3. Makeup? <laughs> Probably none. Although, the tribal stuff's kind of neat. But, no. I don't think I'll do a makeup. Now I can change my name. Jeez. Or I can generate a name. Like Loot. Joe. Glenn. Lucas. You want me to stop? Alright, I'll stop. Okay, time to type in the name as quickly as I can. I guess Fletch? Why not? I don't know. I will be Fletch! Don't argue with me. This is a video game. Nice. I like it. I like it. Okay. Now that we've established personality... Oh, sacred kinship stone! Bride thyself to the spirit of Fletch! I know you can't read that, but that's what it says. The time of rebirth is nigh! Awaken now! Let us hear your cry! Oh, I must have gotten something wrong. Well, it's not like it was the real ritual. Oh. It worked. Maybe my eyes are too sharp. I don't know. It worked. What? What? We we really hatched it. That doesn't mean it's tame. Well, I do. I do. Wait, Fletch! Oh, never mind. What's it doing? Oh, Ratha thinks Fletch is its parent. Don't you, Ratha? Ratha? Right! Ratha the Rat follows! Good enough for me! Aww. I might just end up buying this game after all. Even though I barely know enough about it. I mean, I've watched some videos, but at the same time, watching isn't the same as playing. Suppose it has like a rock, paper, scissors type of thing to it. Alright, so I guess that's the loading screen. And now we're in Hockam Village. <laughs> Did everything just... Yep, yep. The whole ma world's materializing right now. Oh, video games!
you can't make me feel like I'm living in the moment long enough, can you? Alright, progressing the story. Select story quest in the camp menu to review what's happening in your adventure so far. You can also get hints on what to do next. Objective markers. Keep an eye on the lower screen when you're unsure of where to go next. The orange objective markers show the location of your next major school. Talking to characters. Look for people with speech bubbles above their heads. Red bubbles mean that they will advance the story, and yellow bubbles mean that they have something to say. Alright. Closing tutorial. You can view these messages again in your writer's notes. Alright, here we go! There's a red speech bubble, so that's important. Oh, little baby can't fly properly! He's pretty big for a baby, isn't he? Hey, you little brats! You broke the writer's code and entered the forest? Punishment's all around then! <laughs> You're finally home, Chevelle. I was so worried about you. Is that a woman or a guy? I don't know. Mom, I'm really sorry that was a girl. You even caused trouble for Dan. Go and apologize to Chief Omna. You'll do that and then come straight back for dinner. I'll be waiting for you. What would you have done if a fully grown Athalos had shown up, hmm? Ugh, just thinking about it since a chill up my spine. You were in real danger. Right, we're going to see Chief Omna. You three, follow me. Oh dear. Alright. Oh, can I talk to my... Well, we have returned him to the forest. I wasn't trying to talk to you. I was trying to talk to my... Nope. I can't, I can't interact with my monster at all. Alright, so where's the chief? Where is the chief? I'm not going to talk to every NPC here. I'm guessing... Okay, he's there, so... What would you have done in the fully grown... I already... I already read all that. Where's the chief? Okay, I guess... I guess it's over here. Based on the marker. Yep. Okay, the chief's over here. That's this story a little bit faster. Well, the children are safe and sound. There's no point getting tightly wound. They'll have more than enough time to reflect upon their he heinous crime. If you say so, chief. I'll let you off on this occasion. Though your actions were rather brazen. But if you break the code again, well, it's best I don't explain. Yes, sir. Thank you, Chief Omna. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I think you already know. And yet I cannot help but nod. What was happening is rather odd. What has happened is rather odd. Yes, no one bonded with a monster without a kinship stone before. Ooh, I'm the chosen one. Get mad. The kinship stone surely does its part. Bonds riders to monsters heart to heart. The purity of the child's soul resonates and makes them whole. Flex, you have potential to become a rider most influential. You've got potential! That's awesome! That's amazing, Flex! Hey, don't get ahead of yourself. Yes, sir. Huh? The alarm! Is it a monster? Flex, we need to go! I can hear screaming in the backdrop. Please don't be a razzle. A razzle. I don't know how to say it. Oh dear. Nope, it's worse. Hmm. That mist is killing plant life and. Great. <laughs> Oh my. Run! 
Karen! What's that? I'm the hot Nagakuga Nagakuga, something like that. I don't know. I can't pronounce these names. I'm brand new to Monster Hunter, you guys. Well, this isn't going well. At all. Mom! Shovel! Oh! Mom! Shovel! Run! Whew, good save. It's like watching a movie here. If only this was poured to the switch. Well, nothing went right. Nothing. He, he was protecting us. Mom, why? Is this where he turns into a bad guy? How did this happen? I'll never forgive this. Is this where he turns into Sasuke? I'm serious. There's like too many Sasuke references right now from Naruto. Oh, I can save game progress. Well, yes, I'll do that. Okay, I'm probably going to have to end this off soon. One year later. It's been an entire year? Did I even find my monster? Did I even look for him? We could have had a bond! Uh, one year later. A year has passed since... Can't pronounce it. Nargakugas. Nargakukas attack. Hakam Village is or Hakam Village is slowly rebuilding back to its former glory. Today is the day of the right of kinship. It's the final step to becoming a rider. But what will you have to do? Story quest has been updated. Well, Considering this is going to be a very long demo, I think this is a good time to stop off. So the community question today is, do you like the concept and the idea of Monster Hunter Rider? <laughs> Sorry, Monster Hunter Stories. Let me know in the comments below and let me know if you're excited to see me play more of this demo. And let me know if you think I should buy the whole game. Until then, and until my next videos, this has been We to Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Catch you later.